Hi guys, back with another video. Uh, this time is the real life test of the Huawei Watch 1. Now, uh, this is an Android Wear watch. I installed the latest Android OS on it, the beta version, and I was testing it. So, uh, I had these videos with me uh, where I had done a lot of different tests. I did not post it because Android Wear, the latest Android Wear was not released. It was in beta version. So, this video is from January. So now since it has been released and it is going to the Huawei Watch 1 and uh, the Motorola 360, the new version and all the other uh, ones that are being announced. So I wanted to show you how the watch actually is. I would be posting the uh, 2.0 videos also since it's out now um, and you can look at it uh, too. The reason why I liked this particular watch was because it has a inbuilt speaker on it. So when you take a call like uh, all my Android Wear watches or uh, the Pebble or whatever uh, I have, I don't have a speaker on it. This is the only watch which has a speaker. So I can, uh, the mic takes my voice and the speaker gives out the voice of the other person. So I can directly talk from here, answer the call and talk from here. So that's why I like this watch. I don't use it much because it's too formal for me. And I'm not a very formal person. Uh, I like, uh, you would have seen in most of my videos, I'm wearing my Pebble. Uh, but I do wear my smart uh, Android Wear watches also, uh, but I do not like the formal kind because I don't wear too much of formal uh, clothes. So uh, this test would show uh, three things. One, uh, the sunlight readability. Now, uh, with Android Wear, this is a common problem. Uh, okay, we'll discuss about that later after you see the video. Now. The first one would be the sunlight readability test. The second one would be a comparison that how does the screen look like in front of a pebble. So I'll keep both of them together and show you the screen. And the third one would be a water test. So I did not take this one to the swimming pool uh, because uh, the watch comes with a leather strap and uh, I did not want to spoil the leather strap. So I just took it out and I uh, did a water test under the tap with uh, running water uh, which is coming with a force so uh, water with a little bit of force uh, causes more water to go into the device so I just did a, a water test that way so go ahead look at those videos and come back and then we'll discuss about it hi guys uh, so we're doing the sunlight test for the Huawei watch now uh, I'll put it it's on full brightness so this is how it looks like in the Sun So in the sunlight you can see that much. Let's change the watch face ones. Let's put a brighter one maybe. Okay. So this is a little bright. Change something else. You can put this one. So that's how much you can see it in the sunlight. Now let's go to the shade. Let me change the watch face, put a bright one, change it again, let me put the digital one again. So this, the digital one is pretty clear, otherwise uh, sunlight readability is not that great, it's okay. Okay, so I'll do a side by side comparison with the Pebble. I know it's not a fair comparison, Pebble has a, a better screen to be used in the sunlight now this is how the screen differs now obviously the pebble you can see from any angle it's not a problem now this is a problem with the uh, most of the smart bands sorry uh, the smart watches that the sunlight readability is not that great it's great under uh, under the shade in the night uh, these look much better but in the daytime the pebble watch actually looks pretty big uh, pretty good okay so you're back um let's discuss now sunlight readability 
not that great i did not like uh, the screen in the sunlight mainly because it's too reflective um i a disclaimer over here i do have a uh, uh, tempered glass over it uh, i have put a tempered glass over it which is uh, reflective anyways but the screen by default is very reflective it's got a oled screen which is excellent in the night or maybe in a darker situation uh, if you want to watch um, i mean there are third party programs which can allow you to watch movies also on it uh, you can uh, see your pictures on it um, you can play games on it so all those look very good if i compare it with my previous uh, android wear watches it really looks very good but my problem with that was i do not use my watch for uh, games i do not use it for any other purpose i do not use it for clicking pictures or nothing uh, what i use it for is one the first basic function seeing time second notification so whatever notification comes in uh, i see that over there now the problem with the notification and watching time is or seeing time is that i do this and the sunlight is coming on it and i cannot see and i am changing the angles and i am doing this 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 and then doing this that's not what i want especially if i am riding a bike I don't want to be doing this 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 and have an accident. So that's the reason why I do not like the screens of uh, Android Wear. And it's not only Android Wear, it's all uh, most of the uh, most of the watches except for the Pebble. Now, the Pebble is good in this aspect because it has a e-ink screen. So it's uh, similar to uh, what the Kindle has. So it so it's not a fair comparison you cannot really compare a pebble with a uh, android wear or any other colored screen watch because uh, the screens are totally different the technology itself is different so it's not fair to compare them but yes uh, the screen is good in the dark in the daylight not that great now uh, you've seen the comparison between the pebble now the third one was the water test now i was a little skeptical whether i should Uh, test it or not because all the other tests that i have done they do not have a speaker on the watch uh, so there is no hole physical hole that you can see where the water can go through uh, the only hole that you can notice is the mic hole which is protected by a um, waterproof mesh now this one since it has a big hole in the video you would have i would have shown you the and the two big holes over there uh, that is the speaker hole so that can cause a lot of water to go in but it passed nothing happened to it it's still running fine so uh, good with uh, water uh, resistance or waterproofness so it's pretty good uh, my only complaint is it's too formal for me it is too formal because it's all stainless steel it is a little thick um, i will talk about it in the reviews uh, so that's it for this video uh, i will be back with other videos with more reviews more tests and uh, if you like the video please subscribe hit the like button and uh, i'll be back with more videos bye bye